Hello, this is Gus from 3dplearner.com and these are the highlights for this week's article. So in the last article, I talked to you about how to implement a neural network inside Maya. I used this procedural flower as an example and our neural network was trained to classify uh, the parameters of the flower into three different classes. So we trained that neural network using Google Collaboratory, which is really nice, and then we implemented the trained network inside Maya using the Python script editor. Uh, everything worked nice, but I hope you can see the limitations. Uh, implementing the network this way means we can't evaluate it in real time as we would, we would if it was in a DG node. So what we did this week was to implement it as a DG node. Um, here I have the scene for this week's article. You can see the same neural network is implemented in here uh, in a custom Python DG node. This means I feed data from the plant directly to the network and then I output the results from the network directly to other DG nodes. So I can play around and get predictions in real time, as you can see right here. Uh, all the, the files for this scene are available in the, in the article and we have details instruction on how to achieve this. So I hope you find this useful. I hope you can see the potential. This means you can use, uh, neural networks to control any rig or procedural geometry or any, any asset in Maya really. Okay. This is it for this week. I hope you like it. I hope you follow the tutorial. If you do share your results. If you have problems, don't hesitate in contacting me. This was Gus from 3dplearn.com. And if you like what we're doing, please consider sharing our links in your social media.